Okay guys, so tomorrow, Saturday, it's uh, we're having a big celebration. We're having my husband's 50th birthday. So we're having a big party. So I'm gonna bring you along and you're gonna see that. And I'm gonna share the recipes that I'm gonna be cooking here for his, we're gonna do in a taco bar. So I have all this stuff already here, washing, defrosting, I'm stirring the cakes. And I'm gonna share all the recipes with you because we're doing a few recipes. We're doing like four cakes, like, we're doing three different uh, tacos and salsas and my famous lime rice. So I will bring you along with me. Okay, so I'm gonna take you along with me, the recipes that I'm gonna do. All these are my recipes and you can find, for they're in Spanish. A few of those, they will be in English and if I do have them, I will link the link in the description so you can print them. Um, Cause I have two websites, I will leave it on the description below. So, I'm just gonna take you along with me and let's get ready for this party. Let's do it. I am making a mango roll cake. It's a very simple cake, the best one I have to say, but you have to separate the eggs whites from the yolks and then you have to pass a flour mixer through the strainer five times, I know. But this person makes it more fluffy and more like a gentle cake. I will share the recipe completely on Tuesday video, so stay tuned for that so you can make it for Father's Day, right? It's one of the best cakes ever. You do all this process while the cake is hot, the cake. But something that is very, very important in this roll cake is the way you roll it, okay? So did you notice, and you're gonna see me here in a moment, did you notice how I start folding that towel first without the cake? This is so the cake can, can have like a little pillow so it doesn't break when you're rolling it, right? It works every time. That's very important. And you grab the cake with a towel. Of course, it has to be a clean one. And then you have to let it rest for like 30, 40 minutes. And very quick, let me pause here a little bit of the video just to show you where you can find my recipes. I do have two I websites. Have plenty of them. You can go check it out. So let me show you very quick. The first website, um, you're going to go to cocinandorico.com. I will leave the link on the description below. Once you get inside the website, that page is in Spanish, but I have a section that it says recipes in English. Click there, and then you will see a lot of categories. And then main dishes, appetizers, all, all the... All, all of it and just click on one of those and then it will be more specific if you let's say if you go to main dishes then you can you're gonna find chicken and pork and shrimp I mean uh, seafood all that stuff and then just click check all the recipes that I have there like this Alfredo sauce I make it with I made I make this salsa with uh, cauliflower <laughs> so good and so easy healthy nutritious and my second website is MexicanCookingOnABudget.com. Then now I will be posting all the recipes there. So you can just have it there to print it if you need to. I have, um, I don't have as many recipes as the other one. I may have like 10, 15 recipes. But every time I um, share a recipe, I will put it here so you guys can have it ready to print. So go and check out my two websites. Cocinandorico.com and Mexican Cooking on a Budget for more yummy, really good recipes. Thank you guys. And let's continue with this uh, video. We are preparing everything to make this scada. We're cutting bacon, ham, hot dogs, onion, green peppers. If you need to feed a crowd, this is the perfect recipe. It is very easy. It's a frugal one because it has so many other components that you use very little ground beef. So this is a keeper if you're going to do that. 
the recipe in the description below. This is a Milky Way cake. Do you like Milky Way chocolate bar? Then this cake is for you. I will show you that complete process on Tuesday video, so stay tuned for that. This cake has chocolate and pudding. Like, what, what? It's a very simple, we see it has two different frostings. Like, you're gonna love it, I'm pretty sure. I forgot to show you the ending, but look at that. It was perfect. It was so easy to clean. I will leave on the description below the video that I watch how to clean my griddle. But look at that, guys. It's beautiful. Yep. It took me... I start around 3, 4 p.m. And I finish around 10 p.m. Because at the end you need to do a step that you have to turn it on for 30 minutes and then let it cool completely, you know. But it was great. So right now I'm making this cara and I have onion and green peppers and ham. I will leave in the description below the ingredients that you need. But this is really, really good. In this bag, I have a sausage, hot dog, and bacon, and I'm going to add it. That's how it looked before. It was pretty bad. But thanks to this awesome video that I will leave in the description below, uh, we were able to save the griddle, and we were able to cook all the food. It was amazing. Totally, totally worth it. And then I add my ground beef. So we're going to start cooking my ground beef with all the rest of the ingredients. Smells so, so good. Crazy, guys. So, I will leave. I do have the recipe for this for you to print. This is tacos al pastor. You, I will let it marinate for the entire night. And now I'm ready to put it on my griddle. Let me show you. Oh my god. Okay, hey. Um, look at this. This looks so good, isn't it? For this recipe, I do have a video. And I do have um the recipe for you guys to be able to print it out so i'm gonna leave it on the description below these are taquitos al pastor they are so good guys you can use pork or chicken oh chicken it tastes really good this one is pork today but chicken works really good too oh look at this jamminess every time i do this chicken recipe People ask me about it. It's a very simple one. You add zesty Italian dressing, cumin, chili powder, salt. Cook it for like four to six hours on low. Shred the chicken and that's it. Of course, this recipe is perfect for tacos, but for a salad as well. If you live in Utah, this is a copycat of Cafe Rio chicken recipe. And I will leave the link for this recipe on the description below so you can give it a try. It's a pretty good one. This is the decoration to enter the party. Oh, we didn't. It looks cute, huh? Okay, here's where we're gonna serve all the food that you saw me. We're gonna put it in a moment. It's starting to get hot. Salsas. We're gonna have corn on the, how do you call that one? Corn. This is a cucumber drink. Jamaica drink. Pretzel jello, mango roll, the best one. Oh, this is Mickey Way, the apple salad. And the party was totally a success. We had around 65 people. It was so much fun. The big five zero for my awesome, cute hubby. It was awesome. 
the after party and we already clean a lot and we still need to clean a lot <laughs> we are very tired bye baby we are tired but it's okay it was a really fun party so we're done it's clean we're going home See you next time.